Now, bachao, let's read the question. An infinitely long straight conductor carries a current of 5 ampere as shown. An electron is moving with a speed of 10 raised to the power 5 meter per second parallel to the conductor. The perpendicular distance between the electron and the conductor is 20 centimeter at an instant. Calculate the magnitude of the force experienced by the electron at that instant. So, bachao, here our key concept is magnetic field due to long straight current carrying conductor. V is equal to mu naught I by 2 pi R. Where I is the current uh, and uh, we are finding the magnetic field at the distance R. Now, here current carrying conductor which is passing current pass ho raha hai 5 ampere and this uh, is electron which is moving at the velocity 10 raised to the power 5 meter per second. And uh, this distance is 20 cm. So, force experienced by electron F is equal to Q V cross B. But you have a velocity vector is direction. Mein hai. And if we talk magnetic field, ki baat kare, so by right hand thumb rule, if we place our thumb, hai, we place it along PQ, uh, towards Q, if we place our thumb, how will this point par magnetic field kaisa hai hoga? outward? Magnetic field would be outward. So, how can we say that magnetic field and uh, velocity vector are perpendicular to each other? So, Q, V, B, sin 90 will be So, that is Q, V, B. Now, we talk about magnetic field. Magnetic field B would be equal to mu naught I by 2 pi r. We just need to find the magnitude of magnetic field. So, mu naught ka value is 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7. Current is 5 upon 2 pi into r. Distance is 20 centimeter. So, convert it into meter. This comes out to be 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 tesla. So, Force would be equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19. This is the charge on electron. Velocity given here 10 raised to the power 5 meter per second and magnetic field 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 5. So this comes out to be 0 0.8 into 10 raised to the power minus 19, which can also be written as 8 into 10 raised to the power minus 20 Newton. So, our final answer is option C. I hope you understood it well. Best of luck.